What's going on, my PT peeps, my Walking Dead family, and my fighters? I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT, and I'm back to talk about Walker Stalker Atlanta 2019 Angel Theory and a crazy story that happened this past weekend at Walker Stalker Atlanta 2019. So it's something that's going around. More and more celebrities from The Walking Dead are talking about it because they were there or they were right around there, or they came to talk to Angel Theory after security was called, and it's not good. Luckily, everybody seems to be okay, but I wanna set the record straight because a lot of people are saying a lot of things. And if you know the channel, you know we love talking about The Walking Dead, so please help us out and show us some love by subscribing today. So Walker Stalker Atlanta is a great convention. It's a big convention. I was there for the past four years. I did not go this year, so I was not there around Angel's booth, but Angel is hard of hearing. She's actually like her character on The Walking Dead. So for those who don't know, Angel Theory is the actress who plays Kelly. And some people don't realize that Kelly and Angel Theory is a woman, but Kelly is a great person. I've heard, I've never met her, but if you follow at Jimmy McAvee, my guy on Instagram, he posted a little video, a short video that he took of Nova Theory is the little dog. I guess it's a puppy for Angel Theory, that is her support dog. Angel is hard of hearing, and yes, she can talk, and she can sign, and she has hearing aids, but just like her character on The Walking Dead, when there's a lot of people at a convention, a lot of noise, a lot of distractions, it bothers her ears. It's tough for her to deal with people. So she needs an interpreter. She needs a sign language interpreter. She also has a support dog, her little puppy there, Nova Theory. You can follow Nova Theory on Instagram, I believe. And the actress who plays Nabila on The Walking Dead is good friends with Angel Theory. And she did a Facebook Live after it happened. I believe it was Sunday morning. I posted the link. It's on YouTube, but I posted the link to that video on Facebook. So go check it out. It's like 35, 36 minutes long. So it's a long video. I watched half of it and basically found out that Angel Theory didn't have an interpreter. She was relying on friends, even some fans to help her sign. So again, Nabila, the actress who's right there with Jerry, Jerry, said that security didn't realize that Angel Theory was talent because the badges for regular guests and talent were the same, or they looked very similar. So it was hard for security to tell. But also, security wasn't told that Angel Theory was hard of hearing, that she had a support dog. And I guess some security came over to Angel Theory and told her to get rid of the dog. And Angel couldn't hear because Angel is hard of hearing and she wasn't wearing her hearing aids. So the security guard got frustrated and got mad and more mad and more mad and angel was just playing with the dog and couldn't really hear people stepped in trying to you know calm the situation down and i believe no guns were drawn but the word is that some of the security guards were having rifles were walking around with rifles which is crazy so you know that could make people on edge and if people are shouting there's commotion towards it and it's just crazy to think that it's a misunderstanding because angel can't hear she's deaf she's hard of hearing and she has a support dog and it's all blown out of proportion. Also, she's talent. So if the security guards are yelling at one of the talent, one of the celebrity guests, which is crazy to think that something major could have happened there, which I'm glad nothing happened, but it's one of those things where like, wow, this was poor communication. And recently, several guests, Jerry, Ezekiel, Kelly, and several other guests, celebrity guests, said they're not working with Walker Stalker ever again. Probably because they weren't getting paid but I don't know, allegedly, that's the word allegedly, that they weren't getting paid. So if they weren't getting paid, that's terrible. And there's been problems with refunds and ownership problems and just a lot of stuff going around. I don't know what to say because I'm not part of it. I don't own part of the company or anything like that. So I don't know what's exactly happening, but it's not good. Also, photo ops with celebrities, they weren't printing. So your big eight by 10 awesome picture wasn't printing. So you waited in line, got a picture with a celebrity, and then they weren't printing. That's terrible. I believe Celebrity Photo Ops is the company they were using before. Something happened with Walker Stalker and FanFest and whoever was in charge of that. And now it's a different company. Stuff wasn't printing and it's gotta be frustrating. So refund problems, just fans weren't happy. So I feel for Angel Theory because this isn't the first time she had a problem with the owners of Walker Stalker and she still came back to conventions for the fans. People love The Walking Dead. The fans love the celebrities. The celebrities love the fans. The actors, everybody, it's a Walking Dead family. And I feel bad for Angel Theory because if she relies on an interpreter for sign language, I would think Walker Stalker would provide one for her as well as for panels and everything. And they had them before. You had someone signing at the panels at Walker Stalker. This year, I believe they weren't doing that. 
So across the board, they weren't paying for interpreters for sign language. That's crazy that this situation came up and that happened this year. And I mean, I treat patients that require an interpreter for therapy, whether it be for sign language or Spanish speaking, one is provided for them so we can communicate. And that's crazy that Angel Theory, a celebrity, didn't have an interpreter for her. And yes, she's not the biggest name, but she was a celebrity guest and she should have had one in my opinion. So I don't know if it was budget cuts or what they're doing, but it's not looking good for Walker Stalker in my opinion and a lot of people are pissed. And I heard some great stories, saw some great photos this weekend, so a lot of people had fun and hopefully you did. I can't recommend Walker Stalker anymore and not just because of this for other reasons, but I stand with Angel as a hashtag that's trending because of this situation that happened with the support dog and security and everything at Walker Stalker Atlanta. So thank you guys for watching, I truly appreciate it and I love you guys. Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.